Authors Republic review. We're going to talk about it. Come on. Hey guys, it's K Ninja here. And before we get into things, if you're at all into self publishing, make sure you whack that subscribe button and poke the little bell so you get notifications because self publishing is all this channel talks about. And let's get into it Authors Republic. So what is Authors Republic? Well, Authors Republic is an audiobook distribution network. So they compete with ACX and they compete with Find A Wave Voices. And I already did a review on Find A Wave Voices and you can find it if you click the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen. But yeah, so today we're going to be comparing Authors Republic to the other audiobook distribution networks. Now, let's scroll down a little bit, and it says Authors Republic is more than just an audiobook publisher. We're a solution for getting your audiobook onto more platforms and in front of more listeners in the easiest way ever. Here's what makes us great. And we're going to look over here where it says show me the money and it says you'll receive 70% of what your audiobook earns across over 30 channels, including major distributors such as Audible, Audiobooks.com, and iTunes. Now the truth is that Authors Republic actually is Audiobooks.com. They're basically the same company. If you're a customer and you want to buy audiobooks, you go to audiobooks.com. However, if you're a publisher and you want to publish audiobooks, then Authors Republic is a place to do that. And when they say 70% of what your audiobook earns, they're talking about after whatever channel it is takes their cut. However, I had an email exchange with Authors Republic, and they say that you can publish your audiobook to ACX separately, as long as you don't choose to go exclusive with ACX, and then publish through Authors Republic to hit all the other channels that ACX isn't hitting. Now, ACX, what do they hit? They hit Audible, and they hit iTunes, and that's it. So it might be worth it to try an experiment and put a book on ACX and then go through Authors Republic and publish on all the other channels except for Audible and iTunes because ACX is covering Audible and iTunes. The big downside to that though is if you don't go exclusive with ACX, you get less royalties and you don't get promo codes. ACX is currently paying 40% if you go exclusive with them. And if you go non-exclusive with ACX, you're basically going to get about 25%. So Audible and iTunes, they're two big channels. So the question is, do you really want to forego your 40% to get only 25% with Audible and iTunes going through ACX? And you're also losing those promo codes. However, if you go that route, you then have the freedom to also publish your audiobook through Authors Republic, which will get it on all of these other channels. And let's look at their other channels. So audiobooks.com, that's their own platform. Audible, Amazon, iTunes, Nook, Barnes & Noble, Scribid, Downpour, Findaway, Hoopla, Overdrive, Biblio... Tech, uh, Bibliotheca, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, uh, Rito.com, Playster, Baker & Taylor, Libro.fm, Mackin, Storytel, Audiobooks Now, Follett, Hummingbird, Mofibo, eStories, Audioteca, Talking Books, Audiobook Store, Permabound, Leaf Group, Odilo, Ebsco, Audiomole, Bookmate, Rakuten Kobo. So that's a lot of channels. However, from all of these, actually, Audible and iTunes are where people are going to make most of their money, as well as Amazon. When I think of Amazon, I think about Audible. I think they're kind of interchangeable because Amazon owns Audible. But yes, with ACX, I should have said that. ACX will publish your books to Audible, Amazon, and iTunes. However, Amazon owns Audible, so I consider them to be the same thing. 
So for those three platforms, if you go exclusive with ACX, you'd get 40% and they'd give you promo codes. However, the promo codes are strictly for Audible. However, if you didn't go exclusive with them and you published on ACX and took your 25%, then you could publish through Authors Republic and hit all of these other channels. And then after those other channels take their cut, Authors Republic will take 30% and then pay you 70%. Nonetheless, it's a lot less work than publishing to each of these channels individually because that takes a lot of time. Is it worth it? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, it depends on many factors, including your situation. In my situation, it would not be worth it to use Authors Republic because of the way I do things with ACX. I've got a kind of secret method which I apply that works very well with ACX. So I prefer to be exclusive with ACX, take my 40% and get my promo codes. However, if ACX ever banned me for some reason, if they say you're banned and you can't sell audiobooks through us anymore, in that case, I would then probably take all of my stuff over to Authors Republic. All of that said, before pulling the trigger to put all of my stuff on Authors Republic, I would then have another look at Find A Way Voices. Because the channels that these companies distribute through, it's always changing, right? And the percentages of what they pay out can also change. So I'd have to do like a very serious comparison between Authors Republic and Find A Way Voices and choose one. Because besides ACX, these are the other two major players, as far as I know, where one could distribute audiobooks. But yeah, if I was banned from ACX, I'd probably go with these guys. And they could probably get my audiobooks on Audible, Amazon, and iTunes again. But I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if ACX bans you if it means that Amazon, Audible, and iTunes also bans you. I'm not sure how that works, because I haven't been banned yet. And I hope to never be banned, because I play by the rules. But anyway, it looks like a good option. Now, if you're not in the US or the UK or countries that ACX deals with, now there are ways around that. Because there are services that will give you a U.S. address. And even if you can't get a U.S. bank account, there are services that will give you something that's the equivalent of a U.S. bank account. Where money can be transferred to and you can get paid. But even if you couldn't get that, even if you were banned from one of those services, if you could get the U.S. address and use a service that forwards your mail, then you could just have ACX send you checks. And you'd have to have a bank wherever you're located where you can deposit those checks. But yeah, there's kind of a way around everything. So if you really wanted to deal with ACX, you actually could. And I actually go into great detail in that in my course, so I'm not going to cover it here in either Publishing Elite, Lifetime, or The Billion Book Strategy in those two courses. But anyway, let's look at what else this website is showing us here. So how it works, and it says Authors Republic is an aggregate distributor, get started, planning, project kickoff, development, the result. And look at this, they can even pay you via PayPal each month. Now, if you receive money via PayPal, you do lose a certain percentage of that to fees. So it's kind of best to have a U.S. address or bank account and be able to receive uh, an ACH bank transfer. Let's go up here. Promote yourself, social media, YouTube, SoundCloud, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. I guess this is just information. They're just giving you ideas of how you could promote your own audiobooks, email marketing, your website, hiring a PR company. I've never tried that. So it looks like their information is pretty organized, and it seems like they know what they're talking about. I mean, they do take a big cut out of your profits, but for the service that they offer, I don't know if it's worth giving them 30%, but rather than deal with all these companies individually, it seems like not such a bad deal in comparison to what's out there. Promotions, offline, Amazon, measuring success keep learning and staying connected. 
Okay, I'm going back to the top. Audiobook creation. Adapting your book for audio, using an A to Z service, hiring a narrator, considerations, self-narration. Okay, and they get into all of that stuff. Now, my understanding is with Authors Republic, the requirements are actually less strict than ACX, meaning that you could technically record an audio book using a bad mic and just talking into it yourself rather than hiring a professional narrator and have an audiobook done. I've never tried it myself, but I know people, and this was years ago. These guys, Authors Republic, they've been around a long time. So this was years ago. Um, a guy I knew, I, I haven't spoken to him in a while, but he would basically just take his iPhone and read his book into his iPhone, into the iPhone mic, and that would get approved by Authors Republic, and he'd have an audiobook up. Now, it wasn't the best sound quality, but he made sales, and that's what he did. He just used only Authors Republic. He didn't even touch ACX because he didn't want to get the gear to record properly, and he didn't want to hire narrators, and he had a lot of ebooks, so he was quite happy to just talk into his iPhone mic and read his ebooks and then put up an audio book on Authors Republic. Now, I don't know if their requirements got stricter since when he was doing it, and I don't know if those audiobooks, if they could actually get them into iTunes, Audible, and Amazon. But they did get them into most of their channels, and they did get them into audiobooks.com, which is Authors Republic. So that's kind of one way to do things. I wouldn't do it that way personally, but that's one way to do things. Okay, let's look at the uh, last tab here on their website. And this is basically their whole website right here. And it's just an FAQ. It's a bunch of questions. And I'm not going to get into the whole FAQ here. But yeah, so this company, it's, uh, it's a viable option for someone considering getting into audiobooks. It's not great, but given your options, I'd say they're not bad. They're not bad. And that's kind of all I've got to say on it. But yeah, I'm keeping them in mind just in case things ever go wrong with ACX, which I'm quite happy with. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm pretty successful at publishing. I'm a pretty successful publisher. So I'm happy with what I'm doing right now. And if you'd like to know the strategies I implement and exactly what I do in my publishing business, then I would urge you to uh, check the description below this video and check out one of my courses. I would say my courses are the best publishing courses out there, and I tell people exactly what I do in my publishing business. And the secrets in my courses, no one else is teaching this stuff. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from students who told me when I purchased your courses, I was kind of skeptical because there's so many scams and such online. I was expecting just to find normal stuff that I would just normally find on Google already. Because a lot of these publishing courses, you're just going to find information that if you research on Google, you can find that same information for free anyway. But this student said, he said, K-Ninja, your course, it was revolutionary. This stuff cannot be found on Google. You know, this stuff that you came up with, this is awesome. It completely changed my publishing business. And you know, more than one student of mine has said that to me. But yeah, the stuff in my courses, you're not going to find on Google. You can search Google for 20 hours, 30 hours, you know, hundreds of hours. You're, you're not going to find this stuff. It's not information that's freely available because this is stuff that I had to learn through like trial and error, contacting companies, emailing companies, and through just publishing books myself and seeing what worked, what didn't work. And I made a lot of mistakes and I lost a lot of money and I lost a lot of time learning the process, being able to perfect things in my process in order to create a very powerful method by which to do things and some very powerful strategies. And anyway, I'm not going to get into that now because I could go on and on about my courses and a lot of people 
people who might pick up some other course, they might find themselves disappointed and they feel burned and they don't really want to think about buying another Kindle publishing course because they think they're going to have that same experience. And I understand that. And that's unfortunate that those things exist. However, I'm not all about selling my courses because I actually make the majority of my income actually publishing. I don't make so much selling courses. But if someone wanted to know if they wanted to improve their publishing game and learn some amazing, very powerful strategies, then, well, I've got those. And I think my strategies don't disappoint. And none of my strategies are shady. I'm just doing things and have been able to take advantage of things that very few people know about. And that's what allows me to, uh, to be successful with my publishing business. So anyway, yeah, as I said, I could ramble on about it, but I'm going to cut this video here, cut it short. That's it for this video. And once again, if you're at all into self-publishing, subscribe to this channel because self-publishing is all we talk about here. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. K-Ninja out.